Most of you have probably installed what you thought was a free program to later find out the key features you need are locked behind a paywall, which can be frustrating. So in this video, I'll show you 10 must-have software for your computer, all of which are completely free with all the features included, with most being available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Coming up next on Tech Combo. Let's get things started with the Brave web browser, which is the first of two browsers I'll be showing you in this video. Based on Chromium, it's free and open source, and great for those of you that are focused on privacy. By default, Brave blocks website trackers along with advertising-related tracking, scripts, and resources using various filters, including those from the uBlock Origin project. The Tor function is also built in to prevent sites from knowing your IP address and allows you to browse the net with the protections of the Tor network. Something unique for Brave is the rewards program that lets you earn tokens for paying attention to ads. You can either keep these tokens for yourself or pass them on to your favorite websites to help them to keep on creating the content you like. When you open a new tab in Brave, you'll see their dashboard. In the upper left, it'll show you stats about your browsing, along with the websites you visit most often. Over here on the right, they have cards, which should be of interest to those of you enrolled in the rewards program or interested in cryptocurrency. You can modify the dashboard by selecting Customize in the lower right. To the right of Customize, let's go into Settings, and in the left pane, select Shields. Here you can modify the settings for blocking ads, trackers, scripts, and cookies. And in the section below it, you can choose whether to allow or block Google login buttons on third-party sites or embedded posts from Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. The Brave web browser is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Up next is the free and open source video editing software, OpenShot. It's been around since 2008 and over the past couple of years has improved quite a bit. It's easy to use with a low learning curve and is packed full of features. It allows you to work with multiple layers with support for many video, audio, and image formats. 400 transitions are included to seamlessly move from clip to clip. It lets you add animations and includes audio editing features built in. As you can see, the interface is very user-friendly when compared with most video editing software. I'll now show you quickly how to add a transition between two clips. To add a video file, just simply drag and drop it from your desktop or folder onto any track in the timeline. We'll move this to the left. Let's add another clip. In the toolbar above the timeline, click on Transitions. You have a lot to choose from. Find the one you want and drag it down to the timeline in between both clips. To shorten the length of the transition, look for the double arrows, left click and drag to make it shorter. Now take that transition and drag it over the end of the first clip. Then take that second clip to the right and drag it over the transition. Let's take a look at a preview. On their site, there's a handy user guide that will teach you how to use it. OpenShot is available for all the major operating systems, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Thunderbird is a free and open source email client to manage all of your email accounts in one place. It was developed by Mozilla, the creators of the Firefox browser, and it's quite a bit better than most of the paid-for competitors, making it a great alternative to Microsoft Outlook. It's highly secure, and they make it easy to connect your email accounts from just about any service. In addition, you can also sync your calendar, address book, and connect to multiple instant messaging services with support for various platforms. Just like most web browsers, Thunderbird lets you load your emails in separate tabs, giving you quicker access to those emails when you need them. For added convenience, their search tools and quick filter toolbar are quite handy. It's also highly customizable. Extensions are available to enhance its functionality, along with themes to change the way it looks. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. After you install Thunderbird, setting it up couldn't be any easier. For example, when setting up your existing email addresses, click on email, then enter the required information. A must-have program I can't live without is ShareX. This free and open source screenshot utility makes the snipping tool from Microsoft look like child's play. It's packed full of tools and features, making it quick and easy to capture any part of your screen. The various capture methods include full screen, an active window or monitor, scroll and capture, a screen recorder, or you could select region to capture any part of your screen. After taking your screenshot, 
You have the choice to upload it directly from ShareX to dozens of services, including Google Photos, Dropbox, Twitter, OneDrive, and many others. When you open ShareX, to take a screenshot, you could use one of the keyboard shortcuts listed in the main window, or go to Capture here on the left and select your preferred method from the menu. If you go into Tools, you'll find other useful tools, including a color picker, an image editor, video converter, and a whole lot more. ShareX is only available for Windows. For macOS, LightShot is a good free alternative. And for Linux, FlameShot is quite useful as well. Here's an oldie but goodie. 7-Zip is a free and open source file archiver that's used to place groups of files within compressed containers known as archives. It's more useful than the file archivers built into all operating systems because it supports more file formats with a higher compression ratio, reducing the space used on your disk and reduces the size of attachments you email to others. To use 7-Zip, there's no program you need to open. Just find the folder you want to compress and right click. Go down to 7-Zip. You have several choices. You could use the 7z file format or zip. I prefer using the zip file type, which is more recognized. In this example, this is the only choice I've had a need for. Selecting add to, name of the file, dot zip, will create a new zip folder. 7zip is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Earlier I mentioned the Brave browser, which is one of the best for privacy. Vivaldi also has privacy features, but is better for those of you focused on productivity with a ton of useful features. Not only does it have ad blocking and tracking protection, but because it's built on Chromium, just like Brave mentioned earlier, along with other browsers, it includes support for Chrome extensions. There's also a simple to use screenshot tool built in. The web panel sidebar makes it easy to access your favorite sites quickly. And the tab tiling feature is useful to view two websites side by side which comes in handy if your computer only has one monitor or you're using a laptop. On the start page for Vivaldi, there's a speed dial of your favorite sites with quick access to your bookmarks, history, notes, and calendar here at the top. Let's open up a site, add a tab, and open up another site. On the lower bar on the right, you'll find the screenshot tool to capture a full page or an area you selected. To the right of that is their page tiling, it lets you tab your tiles vertically, horizontally, or to a grid. Let's tile these vertically. On the sidebar on the left, you can access your downloads, email, calendar, and all sorts of other stuff. You can also add websites to the sidebar as well for quick access. Vivaldi is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, along with a mobile app for Android and an iOS app currently in development. Before moving on to software most of you have never heard of, Let's quickly get VLC Media Player out of the way first. It's free and open source, without the bloke found in many of its competitors, and it's also ad-free. Simply put, VLC will play just about every audio or video file you throw at it, and it's one of the first programs I recommend people install when they get a new computer because it's better than those built into most operating systems. While it does look slightly outdated, the user interface is crisp and clean, without too much clutter. Rumor is apparently there'll be an overhaul to its interface coming soon. Hopefully they don't make it worse. VLC Media Player is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. If you've ever used Microsoft's built-in Photos app, then you already know it's terrible. Image Glass is a great lightweight alternative that's not bloated and sloppily coded like the aforementioned program. It's free and open source and supports more than 70 image formats like PNG, JPEG, SVG, and many others. It loads images quickly with an easy-to-use interface. You'll find all the necessary tools on the bar at the top, with additional tools located in the menu on the right. Theme packs can also be installed to change the look. Image Glass is available for Windows only, because quite frankly, most Linux and Mac users already have a decent image viewer built in. I'll mention this one briefly. Scribus is a free and open source desktop publishing program to create great looking documents, newsletters, brochures, and posters. It's a fantastic alternative to the pricey Adobe InDesign program. It does have a steep learning curve. If you're interested in learning how to use it, there are a ton of excellent tutorials on the internet and on YouTube. Scribus is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. If you have sensitive data on your computer and it ever gets lost or stolen, VeraCrypt helps to encrypt that data, making it unreadable unless they know the secret key. It lets you encrypt your entire disk, or you could just encrypt the partition where your sensitive files are stored. 
It's impossible to demonstrate this program in a short video like this, but if you're interested in learning how to set it up, I'll put a link to the tutorial from How to Geek in the description of this video. Veracrypt is available for all three of the major platforms, Windows, macOS, and Linux. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What software do you use on your computer that's completely free? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.